What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. We're doing a boost leak test in the car today. Let me show you guys what I'm using. I bought this off of Amazon. So it brings this little port right here for your little compressor, a gauge, and just this coupler. And yeah, pretty cool. Um, so this goes on the turbo, of course, and then you just put air. I'm gonna put about 15 pounds on it because that's what I'm gonna run in the car. If I have no leaks, then that means that this car has bad uh, wastegates. The wastegates ain't doing their job and yeah, I'm gonna need new wastegates. Hopefully it's not that, hopefully it's an actual leak, but we're gonna find out right now. So let me jack up the car and put this thing on. All right guys, I haven't recorded in a minute. Uh, yes, I found two leaks that I fixed already. Uh, let me show you how that goes on. So, you know, it just goes over the turbo compressor housing. And there I have my holes to my compressor. So the first leak I found was this right here to the turbo. The clamp I had was too big. It was a 2.25 and it's supposed to be a two inch. So I put a brand new two inch right here that I went to buy. Um, another leak I had my bad guys for the horrible view um was this clamp right here uh right here wasn't tight enough it was leaking from right here in the bottom blowing up a bunch of air just like here and that's only like five psi of air the system is not holding pressure because of so many leaks so also i need to find a way to cover my exhaust because the rest of the air is going out of there so i'm gonna try to stuff it with just shirts and shit I'm gonna try to just stuff it in there and hopefully it doesn't leak. So let's do that right now. So, cause the rest of the air just going out of there. And when I put my hand over that, I saw this uh, V band uh, leaking as well, which is another boost leak. Um, I saw my wastegate clamps right here leaking. Crazy, a bunch of leaks. Um, so yeah, let me put, um, let me try to cover that exhaust. All right, guys, this is the next day. Just showing you more leaks. Uh. Yep. These clamps here, they're good. These aren't leaking. Well, I got a leak here. Um, there's air coming out the blow off valve, but I think that's normal. Um, I think that's normal. I think. <laughs> and then the one you, saw, you guys saw on the bottom. Other than that, uh, this ain't leaking. This one isn't leaking. I don't see no leaks right here in the back, in the vacuum hole. Yeah, I don't see anything back here. Yeah, there's nothing leaking back here. There's a small leak on the vacuum um for the Tiny, tiny leak. I mean, it's still a leak. Uh, I'll see what I could do there. That's about it. That's all the leaks I found. All right, guys. This is like the day after, like two days after. Um, fixed all my leaks. Um, I also deleted my blow-off valve. And you might guys say, well, oh, why would you delete your blow-off valve? It's probably bad for your turbo. Um, these new modern turbos, uh, I know for sure with mine, they have anti-surge housing. 
So it's really not gonna damage the turbo or anything. And before I did this, I did research. I know other people running um no blow off valve on their cars on these exact same setups, same turbos, uh, you know, 350Zs, whatever. Uh, I'll name one person that you guys all know. This guy's running like 25 pounds of boost. You guys know him, uh, Fresh Kicks. Uh, he runs no blow off valve, 25 pounds of boost on his car. Uh, so yeah, I know other people too that I saw on YouTube, like uh, the guy named Certified G. Uh, someone I know on Instagram, I talked to him, he, he runs no blow off valve. So let me show you guys what that looks like. My blow off valve used to be in that corner. And now it's gone, it's deleted. So, and either way, my blow off valve was already deleted. I, it was never hooked up. It was just there. And a big reason why I deleted it when I was doing the boost leak test with the air, the blow off valve was opening up at 8 PSI. Meaning what? When I was out racing in the streets, trying to target 12 pounds, 10 pounds, I was ne never able to hit target because of that leak. It always drop. So, so yeah, um, did that guys. Um, I, I bought all new clamps, all Trestone, all the correct sizes. They're tight as balls, no leaks. So I can't believe the car made 530 with all those leaks. And another thing, I did switch tuners. Nothing against RS Enthalpy, Martin. Great tuner and everything. I just wanted to make the switch because uh, I just need to see, you know. Uh, I didn't mind spending the little money for a retune. And I had to retune either way from scratch because I fixed all those leaks. So I'm currently doing some logs for admin tuning right now for Monsef. So yeah guys, um, right now I am being admin tuned on the car, uh, yeah. I don't know how many admin people are here in Miami that are boosted. I personally don't know anybody. Everybody here is Martin tuned, so it's gonna be, uh, you know, nice uh, seeing what happens. Um, I don't doubt uh, admin skills either way. Uh, he's proved it, but same with Martin. He's proved the skills, they're both good tuners. Uh, I'm not in favor of anybody. I just wanted to make the switch because I just want to see what's up, you know? So, yeah, guys, no more leaks and a new tuner on the car. I have my lots out there. I'm just letting uh get a little uh warmed up because I gotta go log, like I said. So, yeah, guys. That's, a, that's about it for the videos. Um, so yeah, guys, if you guys um, have leaks, can't find them, a smoke a smoke test machine won't, won't always find them. Like I clearly saw, I, I found five leaks. The blow off valve weld was leaking like crazy. Um, so car is good to go. And next video is gonna be me on the dyno. I'm, I'm getting, I'm being street tuned. So when I go on the dyno, I will, I will already be tuned. I'll just be seeing numbers and I'm sure it's gonna break 600. So yeah guys, um, appreciate you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.